Welcome to Studio Biology. In this video, we are going to discuss the excretory system of frog. It consists of kidney, ureter in female or urinogenital duct in males, cloaca and urinary bladder. First of all, we will discuss the kidneys. Kidneys are two in number. These are oval shaped. These are dark red colored. And about 2000 nephrons or uriniferous tubules are found in each kidney. These nephrons are the structural and functional unit of kidney. Kidneys are also associated with renal arteries and renal veins. Kidneys are ventrally covered by peritoneum. Now we will discuss the nephron or uriniferous tubule. The structure of nephron is divisible into two regions. First one is Bowman's capsule and another one is the urinary tubule. So the nephron is divisible into two regions. First one is Bowman's capsule and another one is long coiled ciliated urinary tubule. The important thing is that the ultrafiltration will occur at the level of Bowman's capsule and the nephric filtrate will move into the coiled urinary tubule in which selective reabsorption and tubular secretion will occur. So, urine is formed after three steps. First is ultra filtration. Second is selective reabsorption. And third one is tubular secretion. The first step occurs in Bowman's capsule while the second and third steps occur in long coiled ciliated urinary tubule after which the nephric filtrate can be termed as urine. So ultrafiltration will occur here then the movement of nephric filtrate will occur in the urinary tubule and finally it will reach the transverse collecting tubules. Now, the final movement of nephric filtrate. So, from nephron, the nephric filtrate moves to transverse collecting tubules. Transverse collecting tubules. Then they will move to longitudinal collecting tubules. Then finally, they will reach the urinogenital duct. It is termed as urinogenital duct in males or simply ureters in females. Why it is termed as urinogenital duct? Because it carries semen and urine both. 
while this carries urine only in female thereafter the urine from the urinogenital duct will move into seminal vesicle seminal vesicle is basically a dilated portion of urinogenital duct somewhere here it is dilated before opening into the cloaca this is known as seminal vesicle and then it enters the cloaca which is a common chamber for sperms urine and also the fecal matter so this is about the excretory system of frog it's important to remember that the tadpole larva of frog is a monotelic it is aquatic in nature while the adult frog which is terrestrial is ureotelic so this is about the excretory system of frog thanks for watching this video